Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Data Toolkit. My name is Sakshi and in today's session we will talk about the process object. In the last tutorial we have already seen how to create process, what is the use of process and interview question on the process also we have talked and how to what is the application integration how to install the application integration these all things we already covered in first tutorial now in second tutorial we will talk the process object so process object combine set of structured data into groups is called object and these object can be used in processes the name processes object help you to identify the input and output of the process so let me show you into the demo how we can create the process. New, go to process object, click on create. So guys, the primary objective of this tutorial is to obtain the conversion rate of specific currency such as USD dollar, Australian dollar and Canadian dollar. So in this tutorial, we will create four process objects to collect the input values and input type to request a conversion and get the respond output. You will use this process object in the exchange rate process which will be explained in the module. So I have already created these four uh, process objects. So basically, these process objects include the type and value of currency it will be used as a reference later in the conversion request and the conversion response process objects so let me show you this is base rate conversion rate conversion request and conversion process so once you click on the process object you can give the name to your process object you can add the field here so let me show you one by one so first I have created this base rate a naming convention is PO then I have simply added the value here and type is integer so you can click here and if you want more you can click on the add fields so basically for the base rate two values are required value and type so I have created value let me add type data type is text here I change the data type click on save so you have successfully designed process object similarly we have to design the other three process object which I already did for conversion rate you can see here I have given name then I have created two values here value and rate then in third conversion request process object I just call the base rate and conversion rate so this process object the conversion rate is used to display the conversion rate as compared to the base rate means our first process object it includes the field value rate and rate type so rate type is missing here let me add rate type click on add field and save it so this process object will also be used as a reference later in the conversion rate or conversion request and in the conversion response now talk about the conversion request process object so this process object is used base rate process object and conversion rate process object which, uh, which we uh, created earlier to obtain the base rate and the conversion rate of the requested currency and this will be used as an input into the process let me show you you can see here if you click on the add field 
and just give the name of base rate I have given here then it will ask you for the reference in this type you have to select the reference if you click here you are able to see this option then simply you have to select if you click here you can see ca i training is my project folder name in inside folder there are the these all the uh, process object so from here we have to select this process object base rate similar for the conversion rate we have to select conversion rate here then talk about fourth process object that is the conversion response so this process object is used to display the conversion rates of the previous request that means our third third process object so we are creating the another process object and the name is that that name is the conversion response similarly we have to add the base rate and conversion rate here which i have already shown you in the conversion request same we have to do for the conversion response so in this way you can combine the set of structured data into group called object and this object can be the processes name the process object help you to identify the input and output of the processes now let's talk about the interview question what interview question will be asked on the process object so the first interview question is what is the process object in informatica application integration which we already discussed a process object is reusable data structure used to store and manipulate the data during process execution it help define the input outputs and intermediate data within the processes second question can a process object be nested so yes it is nested because process object can have the nested structure where one field is another process object allowing for the complex data hierarchies third question uh, will be asked like how do you process objects differ from the service connector so answer uh, you can give like process object define the structure within a process and service connector facilitate the communication with the external system via rest and soap api what happen if a process object is modified any changes to the process object are automatically reflected in all the processes that reference it ensuring the consistency so this is all about the interview question on the process object may be asked in the interview so guys uh, this is all about today's tutorial if you feel or if you enjoy this tutorial please like comment and share on my video so keep learning and growing thank you